On Thursday, November 14th, the Senate Banking Committee heard the testimony of Federal Reserve Chair nominee Janet Yellen. Often described as the Fed's number two, Yellen has worked within the Federal Reserve for 36 years. Her extensive resume includes being the chair of President Clinton's Council of Economic Advisors. She was also the president of the Federal Reserve Bank of San Francisco and later became the vice chair of the Fed. With minimal opposition from the Senate, it looks like she'll soon be adding another accomplishment to the list, becoming the first female Fed chair in U.S. history. I strongly believe that monetary policy is most effective when the public understands what the Fed is trying to do and how it plans to do it. But what does Yellen plan to do? That's what Massachusetts Democrat Elizabeth Warren wanted to know, especially about reigning in too-big-to-fail banks. So I want to focus on the Fed's regulatory and supervisory responsibilities to keep the big banks in check. Now, I'm concerned that those responsibilities just aren't a top priority for the Board of Governors. Earlier this year, the Fed and the OCC reached a settlement with 13 mortgage servicers that had engaged in a long list of illegal foreclosure activities. And the settlement was for over $9 billion. It directly affected more than 4 million families. But the Fed's Board of Governors never voted on whether to accept the settlement. Instead, this decision was just left to the staff. Now, the Fed has smart, hard-working staff, but the Board of Governors would never delegate critical monetary policy to them. And yet, even now, after the biggest financial crisis in generations, the Board seems all too willing to delegate critical regulatory and supervisory decisions. So I think we need to make reining in the banks a top priority for the Board. So I know the Board meets regularly to discuss monetary policy. Do you think the board should have regular meetings on supervisory and regulatory issues as well, making it clear that both of those are important to the Fed? Well, Senator, I, I absolutely believe that our supervisory responsibilities are critical and they're just as important in mon as monetary policy and we need to take them just as seriously and devote just as much time and attention to them as we do to monetary policy. Senator Warren and many others like Yellen's former professor Nobel laureate Joseph Stiglitz support her nomination. Pro-business groups have also come out in support of Yellen to head the soon-to-be 100-year-old institution. Founded in 1913, the Federal Reserve Act created the central bank. One of the reasons that makes it different from other central banks is that it includes bankers on the regional boards. For example, J.P. Morgan Chase CEO Jamie Dimon served on the regional board of the New York Fed. Economist Bill Black says he supports Yellen, but knows that her nomination is no home run for those looking to regulate Wall Street. She's been the most effective uh, predictor of any of the Federal Reserve uh, folks. She's been the one quite properly focused on unemployment and the one who's uh, predicted quite correctly that inflation would remain uh, trivial, which it has. Um, so those are the reasons that, uh, and the fact that she's not hostile, actively hostile to regulation, uh, that people have supported uh, Janet Yellen, and, and I certainly have. Uh, but uh, no, no one sees her as a likely scourge uh, of the bank frauds through really aggressive regulation, supervision, examination, enforcement, and criminal referrals. Upon closer examination of Yellen's record, we also see a Yellen who has supported trade policies like NAFTA, cuts to Social Security, and the repeal of the Glass-Steagall Act. Summers um, pushed for the idea of eliminating the Glass-Steagall Act, which prevented uh, um, commercial banks and uh, investment banks from raiding your piggy bank and going to Vegas with the money. Uh, unfortunately, Yellen went along with that idea. Yellen has gone along with, with most of the new globalization order. The, the real question for Yellen is, look, there were four, you know, there were four million foreclosures. Two million families lost their homes to foreclosure in the last couple of years. 
while she was deputy um, uh, chairwoman of the Federal Reserve Board. And why didn't she take stronger action? And then in other words, the Republicans are saying, oh, look, I, you know, she's too aggressive. Um, you know, all she cares about is unemployment. Well, you know what? Maybe she didn't care enough. Now under the Dodd-Frank Act, the Federal Reserve is also a regulatory agency. Democratic Oregon Senator Jeff Merkley questioned Yellen about her role in completing the Volcker Rule, which would keep commercial banking in its own sphere. We're trying to be faithful to the intent of this rule, which is to um, eliminate short-term financial speculation uh, in institutions that enjoy the protection of the safety net. Um, the devil here is in the details. Um, the rule does permit appropriate hedging in market making activities and um, we're trying to devise a rule that will permit those activities but absolutely be faithful to the intent that Congress had here. On the Republican side, Yellen was mostly questioned about controlling inflation. Bill Black warns that this line of questioning is completely off the mark since it's not inflation but deflation that the Fed should be most concerned about. Inflation is controlled, has been controlled. The problem is that inflation is too low. Uh, and economists of nearly every persuasion understand this. Very conservative entities, including the German Central Bank and the uh, International Monetary Fund, have been warning that inflation is too low. Uh, the numbers just came out as we're talking on uh, GDP in Europe and the numbers are terrible. Um, there's a real risk that Europe will uh, soon sink back into recession because of this deflation uh, going on. And so this is a big thing. Uh, my few conservative Democrats uh, by a bunch of Wall Street people, but mostly by conservative Republicans. Uh, they hope that the U.S. will inflict even greater austerity on the economy and that the U.S. economy will slip back into recession, which would, of course, make the next election a field day for the uh, Republicans. Some Republicans have come out against Yellen. Republican Texas Senator Ted Cruz and Kentucky Senator Rand Paul vowed to hold up her confirmation. You know, in the case of, of Rand Paul, uh, you know, he preferred Milton Friedman for the post of, of uh, Federal Reserve Chief. And it, the Wall Street Journal uh, reminded him that Friedman had been dead a few years. I know that because I was a student of Friedman. There is a belief among the Republicans who have a very poor understanding of economics and some of the moderate Democrats who have even a poor understanding of economics. They think that if you print a lot of money, that automatically prices go up. You know, it, it, it's some real simple formula that if you double the money supply, prices double tomorrow. And they're always scaring us about the 1920 hyperinflation in Germany when you needed to, um, you know, take a barrel full of, of uh, currency to buy a loaf of bread. Well, it was actually Milton Friedman, my professor, who came up with the monetarist theory that one way that you stop a depression is by printing more money and as long as as the economy is uh, as long as there's a lot of unemployment in the economy that is the economy is not at its maximum capacity you're not going to see prices rise we've increased the money supply in america by over four trillion dollars in the last few years and prices are barely above dead flat so first of all they're attacking Yellen on the basis of a theory that they do not understand. Yellen made clear during the hearing that the Fed's near 2% inflation was in order and that she would keep her predecessor's economic stimulus in place. An expected move for most on Wall Street who look at Yellen as a continuation of Bernanke's policies. In a CNBC poll, 50% of traders and bankers said that they wanted Yellen as the next chair. After getting Wall Street's blessing, by next week, she'll likely be confirmed. For The Real News Network, Jessica Devereaux, Washington.